Hey, how are you? Welcome to episode 1 of Globe Earth Adventures. In these videos, I'll just be showing you the amazing part of the world I live, visiting some of my observation locations, showing some observation updates, and just having a general explore and chat. Today, I'll be starting off small and just going for a walk out the back gate of my house. Unfortunately, I can't show you the exact location for obvious reasons, but at least that little blue dot there on this Google Earth Zoom gives you a bit of an idea of where this video was filmed. This is the view from the top floor of my house. I use this view for all my Himawari observations and sometimes when I need a bit of footage to talk over. But today we're going out my backyard and we'll have a little explore of the bushland behind my house. Let's go. First off, we have another one of my observation locations just here. This is the spot where I do my southern sky photos and star trails. That right there is the southern polar region of the sky. I'm actually currently working on a new observation right here which would be really cool. I've been wanting to make these type of outdoor exploring videos for a while now. I still do my own observations of course but every now and again I'll make one of these and build up a bit of a series. And I will get more adventurous and visit some of the more scenic locations near me. For those of you that are wondering, this is Nelson Bay on the east coast of Australia. A couple of hours drive north of Sydney. If you're checking it out on Google Earth and you see somewhere you'd like me to visit, definitely let me know. Okay, there's something interesting coming up just here. Check this out. It's some kind of overgrown enclosure. There's obviously only one explanation for this. Bigfoot lives out here. <laughs> hmm. I guess some kids built this a few years ago and now it's just all overgrown. I know the thought of Bigfoot is pretty laughable, but I've always thought cryptozoology is kind of cool, except for it being a pseudoscience, but I mean the giant squid and the coelacanth, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, the prehistoric fish that science thought was extinct. They were both part of cryptozoology. It's just a shame the loonies start talking about chupacabras and fairies being real. Then the young earth creationists join in and just ruin it. Anyway, I guess the point I'm really trying to make here is there's a bunch of stuff I used to believe in that would be considered pseudoscience, but, but flat earthers have completely ruined that and turned me off anything that doesn't have sufficient established scientific evidence. Damn flat earthers. <laughs> oh, but I never thought the moon landings were fake. I mean, pff, come on. I know this bushland isn't very exciting. It's more like a garden, but I will definitely get more adventurous in future videos. This video is really just to see what works and what doesn't. What gear best suits these kind of videos. Okay, we finally get a nice little view here around this corner. That's the edge of Tomaree National Park. There's plenty to explore out there. I've started compiling a little list of, of all the places I can visit and film, and there's seriously enough unique locations to make 10 of these videos, probably 20. When you have some time, look up Port Stephens, Australia, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, now I've switched to the Nikon B500 for some zoom in shots. It's no P900, but compared to my previous digital camera, this camera is incredible. I was hoping I could find some koalas to zoom in on, but I'm sure I'll find some in future videos. There's plenty of kangaroos around this area too. I did manage to get one Australian wildlife species on film, and that's this fellow, the kookaburra. <coughs> These guys call sounds like uh, they're laughing. <laughs> There's been times in my life where I've failed at something or things are going particularly bad and I can hear a kookaburra laughing at me. It's like, oh geez, even the kookaburras are laughing at me. Alright, I've got an observation update. I've been photographing this lighthouse over the last few months. It's called uh, Sugarloaf Point Lighthouse and put together a quick little video using this photo. But recently I managed to get a few more photos at higher elevations. One at 100 feet 30 meters and another one at 508 feet 155 meters. And well, this is a result. That's a hell of a lot of land being blocked. I think about over 200 feet. 
I will give this lighthouse observation another video when I get some better shots. I've already heard some wild flat earth explanations for what's going on here, but there's really only one explanation that fits, and well, we all know what that is, don't we? The earth is a fist. <laughs> also, a huge thank you to my patrons. Thanks, gentlemen. Because of you, I get to purchase all the little bits and pieces I need to make these videos, so thanks heaps, dudes. I really, really appreciate it. Now, I love doing cinematic type shots. I was going to talk over these, but I think it ruins them, so here we go. I got my drone out for a little flight, nothing too adventurous just yet of course. Now it's no DJI Mavic Pro that's for sure, but it fits my budget. My wife got me this, it's in the under $200 category, but it's a great drone for a small YouTube video person. Oh, and here we go, I actually got a great demonstration of gravity, ready for it? And down we go. Hmm, why did the drone drop? Why did it go down? Why down? Why not sideways? Alright, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Let me know what you thought of this video. I'm just experimenting here. I know most of you probably sub to this channel for the Globe Earth observations, which I'll definitely keep doing, but I just wanted to do some, well, Globe Earth adventures. Okay, some shout outs. First, the Aussie Wolfpack of Wolfie 6020, which I'm sure you're already subbed to, Critical Think, Where's Wally, Ruhif, and some international members, Mike on the Bayou, and Croxy. They're all my friends, check them out. Another Aussie Flat Earth debunker you should check out right now is Right Side Up. He's got some fantastic videos. I do have a bunch of American and European shoutouts I need to do, but I'll do them in another video because there's heaps of them. Actually, I'll just do a quick few now. Red's Rhetoric, obviously. Tommy Grinvold, check him out. He does some great modeling. AIK. And Jutmut the Drunk Monkey. He's my buddy. Check him out for me. They're all in the description. Also, thanks to all the regular subscribers who deal with the lunatics in the comments section. I really do appreciate that. And I really do appreciate all the positive comments. Thank you very much. Well, thanks heaps for watching. Live long and prosper. See ya.